Morning all, we are back out on this, we are out on the Colt White 50cc and everyone said to me, doesn't it look like a Honda Grom? Yes it does, but it's a 50cc. And that's not my phone, that's somebody else's, I was wondering what that was. So, anyway, we're back out on this, riding for the customer, this one is being delivered to the customer by courier. So, it's wet, it's muddy, it means I've got to clean the bike. There we go. Nice quiet little engine on it. It is actually 9.04, not 10.04, got to reset the clock on this. Mirror's nice and wide, see the road behind. Perfect. And that little display down there with your miles an hour. Now, as I've said, on these 50ccs, you have to really wind them up on any 50cc to get the speed, especially a geared one. So first gear will get you about 6 mile an hour, second gear probably around about 13. Once you're rolling, use third and fourth, don't use first and second, they are your basic pull away gears. And you do have to watch yourself coming out into traffic to get yourself up to speed. So, whack that throttle on, get through the gearbox as quick as you can, into third, get the visor down. Get the revs up, and then get up the fourth gear. That will get you up to 30 mile an hour. So once you're up to speed, you can roll around in fourth gear everywhere. These are fantastic little 50ccs, and they look like a, a real motorbike rather than a twist and go ped. Love riding these. Now up a hill, you normally get about 24, 25, which is the same as if you were on a twist and go ped or a geared 50 any of the gear 50s they all do about 24 25 depends on the weight of the rider road conditions and obviously the wind watch that van keep an eye on him so we're going to pod around town i've got all the mileage on it all i've got to do is rack up a couple more miles final test ride before it goes out to customer unfortunately down at my pull away gear again away we go again through the box as quick as you can now when you first get any gear 50 they are a bit uh, clunky on the gearbox until you get yourself worn in slightly normally takes around about 30 to 50 miles just to get that gearbox nice and soft but you can puddle everywhere at 30 mile an hour and BM couldn't wait for me I'm doing 25 mate, how fast are you going? And is he going to use an... Oh look! The BMW's found his indicator! Well done you! And we all know what we think of BMW's. Twist and go. And I nod to everybody, even if it's an Uber, I don't mind. We've all got two wheels, we're all on bikes, but do you class an Uber as a biker? Well, uh, I'm not going to go there. But, as I say, once you're in fourth gear, just roll around, just whack that throttle open, full throttle, and that will get you up to speed. There we go. 28 mile an hour. Now, we've had some people say, can you de-restrict to 50? No, you can't. And I will bang on about this until I'm blue in the face. 28 mile an hour is all you are allowed when you are 16. And there has been three of them this week that have been caught by local plod and it just so happens I, know, I happen to know a lot of bike cops that are in Milton Keynes a lot of the police officers in Milton Keynes <coughs> and uh, I was having a chat with one of them up the uh, Super Sausage on Sunday and he said to me, he said, oh we've had a, a spate of your uh, 50cc they're not my 50cc riders mate they're everybody else's 50cc riders he said, yeah and uh, obviously you cannot de-restrict a bike. Well you can, if you're on one of these scooters you can bigger heavier rollers in it or light rollers and uh, upgrade the clutch and whatever and get it to go that way. On a geared bike you can change certain things, the ECUs and whatever, but you're just wasting your money. You're wasting your money to get about another 5-10 mile an hour out the bike. But he did say obviously we caught a couple of uh, two-stroke 50s and they were hammering down the uh, the local roads doing 45. I'm like, ooh! So yeah, pulled them over, 
How old are you? 16. Alright, do you realise you are doing 45? 40 to 45? No, I didn't realise, mate. Yeah, unfortunately, you, at the age of 16, are only allowed to do 28 mile an hour. Have you unrestricted your bike, or de-restricted your bike? I don't know, bought it like this. Right. Simple fact is that they buy unrestricted bikes, or de-restricted bikes. Right, that means you're not riding in accordance with your licence for 16, where you are limited to 28 mile an hour. And instead of giving them a slap on the wrist, he threw the book at them, and bye-bye licence. And that means that you get, normally, a year's ban, or a two-year ban, and you have to retake your CBT, and you will be monitored by the insurance company, and you'll also be paying double for your bike insurance. So why would you risk de-restricting your bike for the sake of puddling around at 28 mile an hour. I don't have a problem puddling around at 28 mile an hour. And there's nothing wrong with being on a 50 for the first year. If you want to go faster, wait till you're 17, do your 125 test, and get a bigger bike, and then go and do a Mod 1, Mod 2. And obviously you're going to be limited on the horsepower until you're about 21, I think. But the reason they brought all that in is because obviously when I was in the 80s, all the lads at uh, 17 <coughs> used to hammer around on 250s. And that is the reason why. And uh, everyone had a 250. And we all took our bike test. Now a 250 back then would do 90 to 100 mile an hour. And then of course everybody like me, went and did their bike test at 17, straight to unlimited CC. My first bike at 17 was a 900. I went straight to a Z900. Did I ever hurt myself? No, because I respected the right hand. But a lot of uh, bikers obviously went on the fire blades and ended up dying. And that was the reason to curb obviously all the motorcycle deaths that they brought in the CBT to cut down on the amount of biker deaths and limited the horsepower. So 16, you're going to do 28 mile an hour, 25 up the hill, it will get you from A to B, but it will get you there at a safe speed. Once you get to 17, 125 you can do 60 mile an hour. <coughs> but can you unrestrict these? Yes you can. Or de-restrict these? Yes you can. Would I do it? Absolutely not. You're limited to 28 mile an hour. You cut it a bit close there mate. Right, ride test is over, means I've got to now clean this bike. So we're going to get it back to the garage, give it a wash, give it a clean, do the paperwork, give the customer a call, this one goes tomorrow. That's one less bike that I have to push in and out every day. And here's my motor serve man, there he goes. That's probably going to be Steve. I will sit behind him because he's probably going to want to go somewhere. He's probably delivering my parts. I've got vans backing in and out everywhere. Mind the Land Rover. You ain't gonna get that backwards out of there. Anyway, what can I say? Be well. Ride safe, and from RB, on a busy yard, it's a big goodbye from me.